I am Becky Kim. I do mostly fiber art and I kind of dabble in some other things too. I just consider myself a maker and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But almost everything I do, I start with a pattern that somebody else has put together. You know, my bags, I, I take a basic bag pattern and then I do whatever I want to do to it. And, you know, with the colors, that's what I like. And I guess that's where it, maybe it's art. A lot of my inspiration comes from seeing patterns that I want to put my touch on, use the fabrics that I like. When I'm weaving, I see colors that I want to turn into towels or shawls or scarves. I just do what I want to do at the moment. My mother did a lot of crafts when I was young. She kind of inspired me to make things, how I got started. Just really a need to be doing something with my hands. When Megan was born, started getting into knitting and crocheting. And once I learned how to do it, it was kind of a calming thing during those years. Once I had made enough scarves and hats to give away to everybody that I knew and nobody wanted anymore, I had to move on to a different craft. And so that's when I got into spinning and weaving. I just really, I'm not happy only knowing one thing. I don't have to master it as long as I can do enough of it to satisfy me. I'm happy. Um, but then I want to move on and I want to try something new. My best customer and best friend is probably my sister. And if she says, can you make me so-and-so, I usually will say, sure. And she's my best friend and my encourager. Besides Megan, I mean, Megan's my encourager. She's my encourager and my inspiration. Because she keeps going in learning new things and doing new things. And so she inspires me to keep going and learning new things and doing new things. It's very fun. It's very therapeutic. I just can't imagine life without my arts and crafts. When you're a maker or, or an artist, you can't quit. If you're not making something or creating something or dabbling in something, I mean, you might even just change to cooking instead of working with fabric or paint or whatever, but that's still art. You have to be doing something that makes something, and I think that's because God made you that way. It just is the way that it is, you know? If you're just sitting, you're just not happy. Just make it.